so mad. I used to have really bad overthinking to the point where I used to like imagine me carrying this like chain we had in our house down the staircase, randomly falling with it, like popping out my eyeballs or like breaking my neck or some crazy thing like that. Now, of course, yeah, it can happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. That's a separate matter. But I used to think about these sort of things, no joke, six or seven times a day. And then after having this like really crazy thought, I'd have to sit back quietly and be like, repeat, I don't know why, but my brain wanted me to repeat it 21 times. It was like a form of OCD I had. This will not happen. This will not happen. I used to do that 21 times in my head. So forget overthinking for a moment. It was also like this weird OCD sort of thing. And this just got worse every single year. This started like the age of can't trace it back entirely, but around the age of 15 or so, and carried on all the way to last year when I was 21. It was really bad. It used to prevent me from focusing on tests, prevent me from focusing on conversations either. And basically, I used to walk around with endless brain fog. But now I'm in a position where I won't say I've entirely cured of this, but it happens at most once a month now. And I think given that I had like the OCT as well as the overthinking, I'm one of the best resources you can find to help you out with this. I think exposing yourself to these bad thoughts sometimes is actually not a bad thing. What I mean by that is when you get an overthinking thought, you're telling yourself, oh no, that's bad, I shouldn't be having this thought, let me just push it away. But you've probably heard the term, what you resist, persists. So now by you resisting it, you're just fighting back harder to the point where this overthinking is becoming worse. The psychological reasoning behind this actually is you are telling yourself, oh man, I'm an overthinker. And of course, if you're telling yourself you're an overthinker, you can overthink some more. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to tell yourself, okay, well now, I'm having these overthinking thoughts, so like, sure, I'm not an overthinker, I'm just like a normal guy. I know it's hard to like, just block it out. But... It is finding ways to work around it. The biggest one for me personally, it didn't entirely solve it, but it reduced it. Working out, do some sort of weight training, cardio, or mixture of the two. There's something about getting into your body, so even playing sports would likely work. But there's something about getting into your body that just frees your mind of all this tension, all these weird thoughts that come to it. I've had cases where I'm busy doing like one of these physical activities and thoughts sometimes still comes. But I found it generally, in the moment, I don't have it much. And even for the remainder of the day, I don't get those thoughts as much or didn't get those thoughts as much. But I think the more crucial one is... Again, this is easier said than done, but I'll walk you through a process on how you can do it. When you're in that zone of overthinking, let it be there. Say you get this overthinking thought. Just sit there and be like, okay, my brain's overthinking now. But I'm not my thoughts. It's also coming to me and I can... I know this sounds weird, but I mean, you could even think of killing someone. That doesn't make you a murderer. You probably, well, 99% of people watching this probably isn't going to run and kill someone one day. So you get where I'm coming from. You might have that thought of being a murderer, being psychotic, whatever, <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I just had it to the back, that's a weird video, but you might have these thoughts, but where along the line did you start to think that you are these thoughts? Similarly, you may be thinking, oh man, I'm an overthinker, and sure, your actions might be dictating that, but it doesn't mean you are. It just the states you are finding yourself in at this moment in life. I think another thing that has helped me, getting deeper into religion, there's something about like passing on your concerns to God or a higher power, whichever you deem that higher power to be. It's almost like the universe, God, is waiting on the other hand, waiting for you to hand over your concerns hand over your problems. So just a matter of us, you and I, handing it over to that higher power. 
As a final note, as with everything in life, this too shall pass. The good, the bad, everything is going to pass. So on that basis, I would like to think, just like me, your overthinking phase of your life will pass. I think where a lot of your concern and patterns are coming from now is you're worried that you're going to be stuck with this overthinking thing for the rest of your life. But there will be a day when forget about recognizing that your overthinking days has passed. You probably won't even really remember that you had this phase in your life. And it's at that point when pushing through this somewhat dark time now will be something that you will be very proud of on one hand but also just plain grateful for. I do have a Discord server down below so in the description. Do check that out if you want to talk to me one on one. Well that's it bro, I'll see you in the next one. It's become a bit of a man.